And still staying with that chaotic turn of events in Muranga, two members of parliament from Muranga County, Alice Wahome of Kandara and Dindi Nyoro of Kiharu, now say they will not honor summons by the police over the chaos that erupted on Sunday at Kennel Town. This even as the families of the two youths killed in the incident call for speedy investigations and arrest of the perpetrators. Christopher Kariuki and Peter Mbothu lost their lives after chaos erupted between two rival political factions ahead of a visit by the Deputy President William Bruto at a fundraiser at the AIPCA church in the area. A somber mood has engulfed this home in Kiandutu in Thika. Lydia Wangui is yet to come to terms with the untimely loss of her husband, Christopher Kariuki. Wangui narrates in disbelief the final moments she spent with her late husband, who had secured a job in Muranga. That is approximately what to 350. 19-year-old Kariuki was stabbed twice on the back. The family is demanding for justice over the death of a man they describe as peaceful, loving, and hardworking. Sentiments shared by the family of 15-year-old Peter Mbothu, who died in the same fracas, speaking at their home in Kiangombe village. The family, still in shock and bitter, strongly condemned the misuse of the youth by a section of politicians. Hii mambo angalia, juna sikianga, kuna yuli halishikwa, ameuwa mwenzake, na hanapelekwa mbele, na haki inapatikana ya mwenyali uliwa. Sasa huyu asikuwe tini mwanasiasa, kona nguvu, hata yeye angaliwe sana, na shelia inafaa kutumika, itumike. Two members of parliament from Muranga County, Alice Wahome of Kandara and Indi Nyoro of Kiharu, implicated in the incident, now say they will not honor summons by the police. The two, while absolving themselves from blame, say the police should first summon leaders who planned the chaos and who are well known to them. I have not received any summons. I have only read Twitter handles, Twitter accounts. And I want to tell Matiangi, Kenoti, I am busy, my friends. I am busy making roads in Keharo, putting tiles in classrooms. I have no time to come and record statements. If clearly we are going that direction, incidentally, incidentally, I want to see the report that says it is me and the member of Parliament for Keharo that brought the people. Wahome and Nyoro had been summoned to the Regional Criminal Investigations Office in Nyeri to assist the police with the investigations following a directive by the Inspector General of Police, Hilary Mutiambai. At the same time, the National Transport and Safety Authority has summoned officials of two bus companies, Neo Kenya Mpia Commuters Limited and Joy Kenya Services Limited, to provide an insight to the incident. For Channel 1 News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.